Hi there and welcome to today's tutorial. We're going to look at the chapter on settlement and in today's tutorial we're going to look at um, two case studies. And both case studies are found in the Netherlands and it's the Polders case studies, okay? Um, which I'll explain more to you now in a few minutes. So like I said, we're going to look at the case study of Polders uh, in Netherlands and Polders is when you reclaim land, okay? So you place settlement on reclaimed land uh, from, from the sea. And I'll show you how they've done this uh, really well in the Netherlands now. Right, so just some background information on the Netherlands. The Nederla Netherlands, first of all, is also called Holland. And it is one of the most... Uh, densely populated uh, countries in the world and it is the most densely populated country in Europe okay it has 488 people per square kilometer and has a total population of 17 million uh, people living in the Netherlands so because of the huge uh, huge population within the Netherlands the a lack of space is, is a big problem and, and overcrowding is a problem so what they've actually done is they've actually built some polders and polders is when you reclaim land um, that was once the sea. So their solution was to build polders and the reason for this was it prevents flooding which is a big problem in, in the Netherlands but also the main reason is because it creates more space for the density population uh, to actually live on and um, to prevent to, to try to relieve some of the, the overcrowding and the pressure that's that, that is uh, existing on on the land so the two uh polders uh projects that decided to to, to build was the zyder z project and the delta project and they decided to to to, to build uh, a, a polder on each one and these are the names of the projects i'm going to talk to you about each project now so the Zyder Z project, uh, first of all, it was a large sea before the land was reclaimed. So it was a, it was a large sea and it was reclaimed between the years 1927 and 1968. And there was four polders created. The Northeast Polder, the Eastern Flevoland, the Southern Flevoland and the Weringmuir was the four different polders that were, was created. So the first one we're going to look at is the Northeast Polder. And this is the Northeast Polder down here, okay? This is all the land that was reclaimed. And this area down here is 48,000 hectares, okay? So that's how much land was reclaimed. Emerald Lord was the, is the main town, which is right in the centre here. And all the villages are linked by a ring road, okay? So you can see this ring road that goes all the way around uh, the centre of em em Emerald Lord. And all these are little villages that are go that go that are spread around it, and all of these little villages are then connected to Emerald Lord by um by radial roads. So you see the radial roads here. So this village is connected by here. This village is connected by there. This village by that road. This village by this road. Okay, all these little radial radial roads. So it's a really really clever design where you've got uh, the main town right in the center. It's connected by a ring road and then you've got the radial roads that go into the centre. So it's a really, really clever design and because it was only uh, reclaimed from 1927 to 1968, the, the, the developers were able to, to learn from previous planning and are able to plan out a uh, town um, that, 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 that would benefit like, like the people and, and relieve... Um, a lot of congestion and, and not make as much like congestion as you would find in other uh, big towns that were developed um, before the 1900s. One thing that's worth noting is how that the polders were actually formed. Okay, and I'm gonna just talk you through how the, exactly that they are formed. The first thing that they did was they, they built a dam. Okay, so the barrier dam, which is stretches for approximately 30 kilometers, and they built this in 1927 to 1932. And what they did then is they trapped all uh, the sea in, in here. And then they started pumping out the salt water using oil-powered pumps. And then they started actually planting these polders. Okay, so you can see there's one, two, three, four, five. And they planted these by building dikes or like big walls uh, up 
to, to basically keep the water from, from, from flowing in. And then inside the polders, they built all uh, the roads, they drained uh, all the channels. And they use they use like diesel and electricity uh, powered pumps to control the water ground levels. Then they built uh, settlement on them, so they had the roads, the farms, the villages. It's all planned out, and they built the houses uh, and the settlements on these different polders. The polder that we were talking about, okay, so the polder that we were talking about, so it was the north, uh, sorry, it was the northeast polder, and you can see it here. Here's the northeast polder up in the northeast. So that's it for today's tutorial on uh, the different uh, polders and the case study of the Netherlands. Hope you enjoyed the, the tutorial and if you found it useful can you leave me some feedback, I'd really appreciate it. You can also find more of our videos, um, I've got the whole Junior Cert Geography course done and you can find all the videos on the website examrevision.ie and can I please ask you guys to subscribe to the YouTube channel and you can follow us on Twitter and Instagram at examrevision for you.